All right, it's time for the off-roader that nobody asked for, Yogo Baja. And the off-roader is turning to the bane of my existence trying to record. This is like my seventh attempt, and I have hated it every single time. So, fingers crossed, this one goes well. So, the name of the game with a Yogo is to be Cheap Shitbox Cars. And in the case of this one, you're looking at a whole $4,000 to have yourself this beautiful beast. This is the only color it comes in. You get no other options. So either you like like this fuchsia lavender color or nothing. Gets 8 MPG, which is just wonderful for a, um, a 1.2 liter inline 4 engine. Yep. Uh, ride height is yes. It's solid axle front and rear. So it's probably not going to be very comfortable to drive around in. It does have a full interior for this one. It's actually got front seats, back seats. It's got a radio. And unlike the other Yogo model, it does have two wipers, two mirrors, two door handles. They're just making leaps and bounds and advancements over there at the Yogo manufacturing plant. How this thing is going to do as an off-roader remains to be seen. 35 horsepower, 75 newton meters of torque. It doesn't scream off-road performance. It, uh, it does have 4x4 with manual lockers, so that's something, I suppose. And it has an estimated top speed of 59 miles an hour, which I doubt it's ever going to get to, with a 0 to 60 of, yeah, not going to happen. So yeah, there it is. The Yogo Baja. Now it's time to take it over into Beam and see if this thing can actually drive off-road. Can it climb up a hill? Who knows? All right, and here we are in BeamNG Drive with the Yogo Baja. Conveniently, I found a Baja circuit to take this thing around. See how well it can do on some of the hills and crests that this thing, or that this track has on it. It's uh, the, uh, the Motorsport Playground or something is the name of the mod map, I think. But anyway, it's got a whole bunch of different kinds of tracks, different kinds of stuff you can do. And, well... We're here to test an off-roader, so let's try the, uh, the Baja track. See how well it can do with the hills coming up right here. So far, it, uh, sounds a bit like a lawnmower, which is just, just wonderful. Oh boy, oh no. Hopefully we can get enough momentum going down this to make it up that. Oh boy. I might have to uh, come back to that and see if this thing can climb that hill from a standing start. I have my doubts, but I think it'd be hilarious to see. If nothing else, this thing definitely can't be any worse than the, uh, the cheap car that Rye made a few days ago. thing couldn't even go up at what was like a one and a half degree incline with a like 6.9 horsepower. Oh, we are just losing so much speed. Oh, this is great. I don't really... It's going about as well as I could have expected it to, honestly. It drives, which is something. The steering is very, um... Uh, what's the word? Um, loose, maybe, might be the word? Like, I really have to go almost full lock on my steering wheel to, uh, get this car to actually turn. And I haven't changed any settings from the last time I used my wheel, and it's been working just fine for all the other cars that I've been testing. So it's definitely, uh, some kind of a weird quirk going on with this thing. <laughs> I think we're just going to spend the whole time in third gear. You know, this seems like a good place to be. It's got enough get up and go in, in this gear to continue pulling forward and making it up hills and stuff. Fourth gear, it just loses all of its power. It just doesn't want to go anywhere. Um, what's over here? What do we got? Oh boy. What are you? <laughs> A 
no, no, I don't think so. Maybe we have a bit of a start? Oh, hey, there we go. Oh, no, maybe not. I think I spoke too soon. Come on. Uh, what about low range? Oh, hey, look at that. That really put some life into it. Damn! That actually kind of had me <laughs> surprised. Oh, oh, we don't like the mud. Oh no. Oh right, this is turning into the uh, kind of off-road test I was hoping it would be. Look at that. This thing's not entirely incompetent. And I am actually very impressed by that. It just goes to show you don't need more than 35 horsepower and 75 newton meters of torque to actually do some off-roading. Take a little bit of speed. It's <laughs> speed. Mm. Yes, I use that. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Really? Really? That's... That's what's gonna be the thing that defeats us? That was... Very, very disappointing there at the end. But, I mean, hey, credit where credit is due, this thing was actually able to climb that rocky embankment, which, you know, that's a pretty good showing for this little thing. I don't... I guess at this point, the only thing that's left to do is to see if it can follow in the footsteps of the, um, the Goliath and make it down the side of the mountain. So, I'm gonna head over there. And we will see how it does. Alright, and here we are at the top of Downhill Madness and Crash Hard 2.0. And just for the hell of it, <laughs> decided to spawn in the Goliath for a side-by-side uh, -side comparison of what this little cutie here is, um, is up against. There's a... Uh, Definitely a bit of a size difference here. Just just a small one. But yeah, let's uh let's see how it goes. Best case scenario, we make it to the bottom. Worst case scenario, well, we just we don't. Alright, and we have reached our top speed. The engine is going to explode, I'm sure of it, if I don't do this. Oof. Ooh, barely even made it across that. That's not a good sign. Alright, a bit wishy-washy under speed. Probably has something to do with those high-profile tires. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Can you make the jump? Oof. I don't think this thing is going to have a chance in hell at completing this. Just because I don't think it can actually go fast enough to get over the jump. But, back to the top. Um, let's try with the diffs locked. And I guess I'll keep my foot in it this time and get as much speed into this thing as I can before the engine explodes. Because I think that's about the only thing that's going to help this. And it's vague suggestion it's steering is, um, is not helping either when I start going across those bumps. Alright, engine is officially gone, so I don't need to keep my foot on the gas anymore. So it makes our first engine explosion as well, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember, did I bring the, the, the other Yogo down? down the mountain? I don't think I did. I think I started this after 
after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this thing's just gonna pancake itself. So I'm not even gonna go for a third attempt. It just, it can't do it. So we'll go for one unofficial run and we will take this thing down the side of the mountain where the jump isn't at and see if it can maybe survive past the second set of jumps there at the end of the end of the hill. All right, now we just wait for the engine to explode. Actually, you know what? Let's turn it off. Oh, no, I wasn't fast enough. Again, it can barely make it over that. I think I actually broke something at the steering that time. Maybe not. It's not giving any indication on the little uh, chart thingy over there in the corner. Yeah, it definitely damaged something. Oh, yep. <laughs> there we go. The whole entire front axle disconnected from the chassis. So even trying to give this thing its best possible chance to make it to the end, it still couldn't do it. But I guess, what would you expect from a $4,000 off-roader beyond incredible disappointment? So, with that, I'm going to end this video here. If you like what you've seen, let me know. Leave a comment while you're down there. Maybe like and subscribe. Is there anything you want me to build? Let me know. I'll do my best to make it happen. Anyway, talk to you all next time.